Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up our Faith Bullet Journal Planners for the month of April. And I've got these brush pens here ready to go, as well as this washi tape I may use, and these assorted pens that I'll be drawing with. Okay, so like I said, this is a bullet journal style planner that I use for my faith. And for this month, the theme I'm gonna be using is a rain cloud theme. I've already penciled in the artwork for the month and I'll start with this title page, just setting it up with some clouds and then I'll also add in a little bit of rain here in a second. I'll be erasing the pencil lines quite a bit throughout just because that purple is a pretty light tone and the pencil lines will show if I don't erase them pretty thoroughly. So I'm going to do that as well as outline the clouds in black to tie in the black tones that I'll be using with the washi tape and then also throughout in my writing. I also decided to bring in almost like a pink toned purple as well, just for a little burst of color and brightness. I'm just using that more as a, almost like a shadowing effect on the clouds and in other applications as you'll see once we get more into the other pages. So I've selected a verse to start off this title page from Zechariah 10 verse 1. I thought it was a perfect match for this theme. I'm pinning in first the brush lettering script that I've penciled in and then I'll just go ahead and do the print writing as well. The brush pen I like to use for the brush lettering is the Tombow Fudonosuke hard tip brush pen. I really love that pen. It's just so great for small brush lettering and really helps with control if that's something that you struggle with in your brush lettering. So I use that and then I also use the Sakura Micron in a 0.5 tip pen, no sorry, 0.3 tip pen for just the standard lettering. And now I am adding in the raindrops using just the tip of those Tombow brush pens, just doing a small kind of press down almost with that tip, creating the raindrops. I got that technique from a super awesome planner babe, Twinkle Plans Her Day on Instagram. She does great work with pens and mild liners and I saw her do an April spread in her planner, I think it was last year actually, and I saw her use the Tombows in that way and I just loved how simple and easy the raindrops were made just using the tip of the pen. So I thought I would do that here and again kind of use that as the theme for the month. So I've already penned in over the black washi tape for the April header. And so now I'm going to move over to the takeaway page, which is where I will be putting in a summary of my daily reading each day. In the past, uh, the first two months of the year, I was doing a full summary of the reading, which is about a 15 to 20 minute reading every day. And it was a lot of writing and it just took a little bit more time than I really wanted it to. So last month I decided to try doing just like a a takeaway from the reading, like something, some application I could apply and remember from the reading to work in with my lifestyle. So that's what I did last month and that worked out pretty well. And I figured I would just continue that going forward this month and kind of see if that's something I want to keep doing or if I come up with something else in the future, I will make a change. So I've already highlighted every other line, going back and forth with the light purple and the pink tones.
And now I'm adding in the title, the takeaway there, using my Jelly Roll white pen to write on top of the black washi. As that's drying, I'll go ahead and move back over to page two of the month. And this is where I like to do my prayer list. So I'm gonna do clouds this month for my prayer list compartments, if you will. I've been sectioning out different prayers for different groups of people so I can just kind of, I don't know, visually know who I'm praying for and just kind of keep it separated and that's been working really great. I just really like having it in compartments, those things that I'm praying for. So I'll keep doing that. I am drawing in some raindrops again here now using both kind of like a dark and that light purple as the main color for the rain. And now I'll go back in and add in that pink shadowing effect which I just think adds again a little bounce of color and brightness to the theme. I really like that feel of it. And again, erasing all those pencil lines that I missed from before, just trying to clean things up a little bit. So the four categories I usually have here on my prayer list are my family, my friends, people, which is basically just groups of people outside of my normal influence, global peoples, or, uh, you know, just groups of people, like I said, outside of my immediate sphere of influence. And then finally myself. So those are the four categories that I've been praying for lately. And again, it's just nice to have it listed out in separate areas. So I went ahead and titled the page. And now we'll move on to the weekly spread, the first one for the month. So I've been doing only one spread here in the setup, and that kind of gives me the freedom to change my mind and try new things as the month progresses. So I you know, can try just different layouts and see what I like. I've been using my weeklies last and this month again solely for my lettering. In the past, I was mixing the summary of the daily reading in with the lettering, but like I said, last month and this month, I kind of changed things up and went back to just doing lettering on the weekly spreads, and then I'll do that takeaway each day as I do my daily reading. And so for this week, I decided I was gonna do some large overlapping boxes. And the idea I had before was a little bit different, penciled in, but I decided I wanted to shadow the boxes with that brighter pink purple tone. So that kind of changed things up a little bit with how this was gonna look. And I still like it a lot. I think I'll just change how I'm gonna label the boxes with the days or the dates. So that will be really the only change from what I had there on the spread and pencil. And I'll just write in the month and the day span. And as that dries, I'll move on to the next side and get that all set up. Again, kind of lightening up those pencil marks so that I can easily trace without it really being stuck behind the inking once I actually lay it down. And I've been starting the cloud design with that lighter purple mainly because when I draw a black line first, so like the black outline, let's say, of the cloud, and then try to add in a light color next to it or outline it with a color that's so close to it, it usually picks up some of that ink from the black and then it starts to 
muddle the color that's there on the page. So by starting with the lighter color, I kind of solve that problem and eliminate that black drag of the line. So that's really why I'm doing it in the order that I'm doing it, in case you were wondering. And uh, I think that's just an easier technique for creating a cleaner look with the lighter colors. And of course I made a mistake because I decided to change things up at the last minute. So Saturday became Saturday. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to white out that U. I have a hard time whiting out thicker black ink lines. So it kind of doesn't do so good with that jelly roll pen when I do it over like thicker black ink, like I said. But it's close enough for now, we'll just make do with that and then maybe I'll change it up later down the week if it really starts to bother me. I'll cover it with maybe some dry line or something. And the final page that I like to set up during the pre-month setup is the monthly overview page where I track the chapters and verses that I've been reading in my daily reading for the day. So again, starting with those lighter colors, laying those down first, and then going back over with the black ink, again, to keep the colors clean and less muddled. And I really liked the kind of individual boxes for each day look that I did last month, so I'm going to do that again this month. I've shifted it down the page a little bit so I could do some more decor at the top with the clouds. really like how that's going to turn out. And then I will close up the boxes here as well all the way through the month. And as you can see, I've kind of went away from like ruler lines and I'm just freehanding things nowadays in my faith. I feel like the bullet journal style really is somewhat more forgiving than I gave it credit for in the beginning. So just kind of getting a ballpark idea of where things are going to be and with those dot grid lines, it's pretty easy to keep things straight and somewhat even. So. I really just feel like that's an easier way to get things done quickly and efficiently without too much stress over how things look. It's made bullet journaling a lot less daunting to me, worrying about perfect lines and straight, perfect angles, that kind of thing. Just kind of letting it be a little bit rougher, a little bit more hand drawn and feel, I think just works for the bullet journal application. So. Um, it's helping me too to relax a little bit with my um, tendencies towards perfection and uh, just allows me to enjoy making things and, and seeing how they turn out even if they're not perfect. So I went ahead and penciled in or penned in all of the dates and then I'm also adding in the raindrops now. I'll go ahead and add in the title for this page as well. And then once I'm done with that, you guys, we will be done, friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.